probably about eight or ten years ago, I had some numbness in my feet, uh, and they diagnosed it as a idiopathic peripheral neuropathy, which is a fancy way of saying they couldn't figure out why I had numbness in my feet. I just sort of lived with that, lived with that pain for a number of years, until about a year ago, uh, maybe around a year ago, things started getting worse. Um, and uh, my neurologist couldn't really figure out what, was, what it was, because it didn't seem to him like a natural progression of the numbness from my feet. And my legs were going numb, uh, I was losing muscle control. Uh, I was falling down a lot. Uh, towards uh, Just before my surgery, I was falling down at least once a day, and hard falls to where I was really bang banging myself up. But, uh, and, and even just the last few days, I was losing control of my bladder, so it was, it was going south pretty fast. <laughs> I have a three-year-old, and uh, it was sad that I wasn't able to, to do things with her. Anyway, my neurologist referred me here to USC. Uh, Dr. Bedoun uh, was the neurologist that did the work up on me and and he I guess right away noticed that it wasn't a normal kind of neuropathy and, and uh, ordered a series of tests one of which was an MRI and they found a, a rather substantial tumor uh, on my spinal cord r right next to the spinal cord uh, pushing on it so severely that it, it had been compressed to about the shape of a ribbon in other words there wasn't much space left for that spinal cord I was referred to Dr. Shea, uh, the neurosurgeon here at USC. When he called me, uh, the first question he asked is, can you still walk? And I was able to walk, but not well, but it sort of uh, put everything in context for me that, that things were kind of bleak. Um, he discussed uh, what he wanted to do, uh, what he thought was the best treatment for it, remove the tumor, uh, and, and do a... Um, uh, a spinal fusion of three vertebrae um, and you know he went over the complications that were possible but uh, really given the downside of doing nothing uh, to me there wasn't really a choice I had to had to have the surgery so they had to actually cut pieces out of my vertebrae uh, and remove them temporarily uh, get inside and remove the tumor which immediately released the spinal cord not that it returned to its normal shape, but it gave it room. And then he, he uh, did bone grafts to put you know, my vertebrae back together, and then a, uh, uh, a fusion of three vertebrae uh, to immobilize that part of my back. And Ten days after my surgery, um, uh, I was able to stand upright with my eyes closed and not fall over which sounds simple for anyone else, but for me that was impossible before the surgery. And, and I also told them um, I couldn't walk heel to toe without falling over, and I was able to do that. So uh, I remember breaking down and crying for the physical therapist and uh, got back to the room and, and the nurse asked if everything was okay because I was just crying. And then finally she said, is this a good cry or a bad cry? Uh, and, and for me that was, that was sort of, if anything gets better from here, Life is wonderful. I'll tell you, it's fun to play with my three-year-old again.